Thank you, Madam President. I will read some sections of our statement. Uh, the full version will be uh, available separately. Uh, Madam President, as is evident from the Secretary General's report, despite persistent efforts spanning over the last two decades, the rights of millions of children continue to be violated in situations of armed conflict in different parts of the world. Some progress has been made through greater engagement between the UN agencies and the governments concerned, as well as through the integration of children's rights issues in the mediation processes. However, a lot more remains to be done, especially in keeping with the changing nature of the armed conflicts that involve a range of non-state actors. Terrorist entities, including those designated by the Security Council, continue to exploit children as part of their terrorist activities with impunity. Reintegration of children into the society after their release following mediation processes remains an area that needs more focus. Madam President, India, through its active participation in the UN peacekeeping operations, continues to contribute to the implementation of the UNSC mandate on this subject. Based on our experience as one of the largest troop contributing countries, India remains concerned about the lack of resources to implement the provisions of this mandate, including the deployment of more child protection advisors and to comprehensively address the connection between conflict prevention and the protection of children. Madam President, in spite of the clear mandate provided under the UNSC Resolution 1379, we are disappointed that the report of Secretary General includes situations which do not meet the definition of armed conflict or of threat to maintenance of international peace and security. We would like to point out that such distraction from situations that are under the mandate of Security Council needs to be rectified and the mandate strictly adhered to. Madam President, while this is an important thematic debate, there has been yet another attempt by a delegation to misuse this forum by referring to situations that are extraneous to this discussion. In doing so, they have referred to a so-called report about the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir, a document reflecting the clear bias of an official who was acting without any mandate whatsoever and relied on unverified resources of information, a document that was not even found fit to be considered by the membership of the forum where it was submitted. Such deliberate self-serving attempts by Pakistan seek to obfuscate the reality of their own use of terror organizations to undermine state sovereignty. They also distract from our discussions away from the issues at hand. Such attempts have not succeeded in the past in any forum and will not do so now. Madam President, in conclusion, let me reiterate India's strong support for the UN endeavors to pro for, uh, for protection of children in situations of armed conflict. Thank you, Madam President.